OK, so now we are in English. Um, or language arts, they're all sort of the same thing. Um, there's still a lot of people not back. Jeez. Um, so I want to double check with you guys about homework. Did everybody complete their assignment? It wasn't too difficult. We're all good to go. Everything was fine. Yeah. Which oh. one? Our that's very assignment assignment it was uh, yesterday. Yeah. OK, great. So um, I'm going to be reading your letters tonight. I'm really looking forward to reading them. Um, I'm hoping everybody got creative and um, sort of just had fun with the assignment. So you should see that your grade will be posted tonight if you completed the homework. Um, OK, so let's get started. So today, um, kind of like we did with the Harriet Tum. Oh, Abril, you have a question. Hey, was, were you talking about the Harriet Tubman thing? Yes, our letter to Harriet. Okay, okay. Okay. Here comes Hugo. So, so we read a short story about Harriet, right? That's how we started off. We, we did a little exercise on her. It was a pretty great time. Pretty fun. Pretty fun subject. Now, today we're going to do something similar, but with a different person that we're going to read. A story from or about. Uh, it's going to be more lighthearted, a bit more fun. Uh, some of you guys might be f more familiar with this person because they're more popular in pop culture, meaning that they're more popular. We see them more often on TV or talked about more often about um, from people who are a bit younger, right? Our parents, maybe, maybe our friends, maybe um, us ourselves might be more familiar with this person. Uh, a lot of people from 5B were really excited. Um, about this person because they um, either watch them on TV, watch them play basketball, whatever it is. So the question is, who here? Let's see if we can get some some quick background info. Maybe you guys know. Oh, I'm not screen sharing. I'm spoiling it. Does anybody know who Shaq is? If you know who Shaq, Alan, I see you in my t screen. Go ahead if you want to speak. What? Who do you? Who is Shaq? What do you know about Shaq? Oh, no, I don't know if your mic is working. It says you're unmuted, but I can't hear you. Maybe mute and then unmute again. See if that works. Can anybody else hear Alan? No, I can't hear him either. How about you put it in the chat, Alan? Can you chat it in? You can't use the chat. Too hard. Anybody else have something they want to say about Alan sort of loads up? Anybody else know who Shaq is? Know anything about Shaq? Ever heard of him? No, maybe not. I don't think anybody here has heard of him. No, I'm surprised. 5B had a lot to say about Shaq. I think poor Alan. We all know about Kobe Bryant. Yes, Kobe Bryant himself was a legend. Poor Alan, I wish his mic worked. Maybe he would be able to let everybody know a little bit more about Shaq. Uh, we can keep an eye out for the chat, but since nobody has anything to say, they don't think they know who he is. I'm going to screen share now. Your We're chat is like muted. My chat? Yeah, it's because it won't let us chat because I think you turned it off. Hello? Did everybody receive my chat? Yeah, we could see you can put in chat, but yeah, we, we can. can. So, so you can't start a conversation. We're not allowed to chat, so we have to unmute ourselves in order to talk. Yeah. It says you've been muted. You can't. Yeah, it start says a you've been muted for, from this chat. What? I think like you click something and we can't mute. Well, that doesn't make any sense because I don't think I clicked anything and 5B did not have this problem. If anything, I wish they did have their chat shut off because they wouldn't stop chatting. 
Hmm. I wonder why. Okay. What I'm sorry, guys, if, if anything, you could chat with me on Teams. You know how you can send a chat separately, not in the meeting, but on Teams? If anything, chat with me if you want to share something with the class and I can say it for you out loud, okay? If you don't have a mic. Um, okay, so let's continue on and I'll fix the chat thing. I don't really know what it is. I'll do my best to fix it, okay? So, um, let's get going with our mini presentation on who Shaq is, since all of you claim that you do not know him, other than Alan. Who said I know him? Gianni? Gianni, share with the group what you know about Shaq, if that was you that said that. What did you say? Because I have a headset, and whenever I put my um, microphone up, um, you can't hear me. And I actually have my microphone up. Okay. All right, should we get on with the presentation, you think? Okay, let's do this. So this was our presentation on Harriet. And here is Shaq. Anybody recognize his face now, now that you're seeing it? Yeah. Yeah. I recognize him. I've seen him in commercials so many times. Right, yeah. So he's in the commercials a lot. But he was a professional basketball player. He started off with the Lakers, uh, played with Kobe Bryant. So if you know about Kobe Bryant, uh, you might know about Shaq. I can't remember which team he joined. I think he might have also been on one of LeBron's dream teams, either in Cleveland but I'm pretty sure he joined him on the Miami Heat right before LeBron went back to Cleveland, if any of you follow basketball like I do. Um, he is now a sports analyst and commentator for the NBA. Uh, he is seven foot one. So that's one of the things that Shaq is really known for. He's known for being a really, really big guy. Um, he grew quickly. I found a really cool story about him. Well, not cool. It's kind of sad, but it is a story. It says at one point, his mother physically had to fight a bus driver who didn't believe her son was under the age of five, and therefore he couldn't ride for free. She didn't want to pay, obviously, because she was following the rules, and the bus driver didn't believe her. So after that, she started to keep her birth certificate on her no matter where she went. By the age of 10, so by the time he was your guys' age, he was already six foot four. So imagine... If you guys had a classmate who was six foot four, that would be pretty crazy. Um, so Shaq was a troublemaker. He was a big prankster um, and he was constantly starting fights and breaking things. So he sort of used his size to maybe intimidate others. Um, it's interesting to know that he was cut from his high school basketball team, even though he went on to be one of the biggest, most well-known, most highest paid even basketball players in NBA history. Uh, he is also a comedian and an actor, and most of all, he is a legend. So now you might be able to have a conversation with your parents if you know, or family members or friends who you know watch basketball, and say, hey, I learned about Shaq today. And I'm sure they'll have a lot to say because he is one of the greatest players of all time. He is in the Hall of Fame, and he is still very active in the NBA. So that's some quick info about Shaq. So now what we're going to do is we're going to read a short story written by him. That's a fact that not a lot of people know that he writes short stories. Like I said, it is a very lighthearted, kind of fun, a little bit sad story. It's really short, so we're going to read it together. It's So when you're reading it tonight, remember you have to go to ELA, Files, and then it's called A Good Reason to the full title is A Good Reason to Look Up, but it didn't load on the way. So, let's get started on the reading. So pay attention. A Good Reason to Look Up. When I was a junior in high school, what my friends thought of me was really important to me. During those years, I grew much taller than most of my peers. 
Being so tall made me feel uncomfortable. In order to keep the focus off of me and my unusual height, I went along with the craft who would play practical jokes on other kids at school. Being one of the class clowns gave me a way to make sure that the jokes were directed at others and not at me. I would pull all kinds of pranks that were hurtful and sometimes even harmful to others. Once before gym class, my friends and I put Icy Hot, and for those of you who don't know what Icy Hot is, it's almost like a cream, like a Vaseline. When you rub it on your body, it makes you literally feel extremely, extremely icy, like that area feels super cold, and all of a sudden your whole body feels super warm in that area. Like it's a really crazy sensational feeling. I put Icy Hot in the gym shorts of one of the kids at ba on the basketball team. Not only was he terribly embarrassed, but he also had to go to the school nurse's office. I thought it was going to be funny, but it ended up being that no one thought so, at least of all my, my father. My parents didn't always think that my behavior was funny. They reminded me about the golden rule, treat others as I would like to be treated. Many times I was disciplined for the hurtful way I was treating others. What I was doing was hurting other kids and in turn hurting my own reputation as someone to be looked up to. My friends were looking up to me because I was tall. But what exactly did they see? My parents wanted me to be a leader who was a good example to others. They wanted me to be a decent human being. They taught me to set my own goals and to do the best at everything that I set out to do. During the lectures I got from my father, he told me over and over again to be the leader that I was meant to be, to be a big, big man in both my heart and actions, as well as in my body. I had to question myself whether or not it was important to be the kind of speaker and person my father believed I was inside. I knew in my heart, you can you your microphones please guys. So I tried my best to follow my father's advice. Once I focused on being the best that I could be in the became a leader in the game, I took my responsibility to set a good example more seriously. I sometimes have to stop and think before I act. And I make mistakes occasionally because everyone is human. But I continue to look for opportunities where I can make a difference and to set a good example because of my father's advice. I now pass it on to you. Be a leader, Shaq, not a follower. Since people already have to look up to you, give them a good reason to do so. Shaquille O'Neal. That's a really short story, but a really cool one if you really think about it in hindsight. So does anybody have something that they might want to say? Anything they, like? anything they didn't know? Anything that stood out to them? What do you guys think? Anybody? Viviana. <clears throat> something I found like interesting that um he was like a prince like he does like he was like the clown clown um class clown and he, he did not like follow the rules that I found, yeah. I found interesting that right it's interesting to think about someone so famous being kind of mischievous when they were there um yeah. Interesting that he was six four by the age of ten. Right, that's crazy, right? That's, that's like someone in your class seriously being six four. That's like extremely, extremely tall. I'm only, I mean, I'm short for being a, an adult, but I'm only five one. So if there was a six foot four kid in my class, I would have to look up to him. That'd be pretty insane. Um, who else had their hand up? What are you saying, Gianni? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Never mind. Okay. Anybody else have something they want to say? Okay. So I think it's a cool thing to consider. I'm going to stop screen sharing. Um, what I think is a cool thing to consider <laughs> is that if somebody does not have their mic. I'm going to mute some mics and then, okay. I think it's cool to think about, like, not cool, but it's interesting to see what side of Shaq um, that, like, we might not know. So, like, if you see his commercials, they're probably really silly 
or if you if anybody watches like Adam Sandler movies, maybe Grown Ups, I think he was in. He's always like a really or in a couple of other movies. He's always like a uh, in his films. He's like a background character and he's super silly. He's a really goofball. If you watch the NBA and you watch his commentaries. He's always making jokes. He's always laughing. Like he he is definitely a comedian. So the class clown role, it kind of makes sense. But um, I don't know. After reading that story, I feel like he might have not necessarily been a class clown. It almost sounded like he was sort of a bully, right? Because the people that he played these pranks on, they weren't his friends. So it's not like, you know, let's say me and Sophia are best of friends. And one day I hide her hairbrush. And she's looking for it every day and I'm making and all day and I make her late to something and like I'm pulling little little pranks on her. But she, you know, she might get mad and then laugh and pull a prank on me, you know, and we're having a good time as friends. For Shaq, it seemed like almost the people that he was doing these pranks on, right? They weren't really his friends. They were almost like kids he was sort of picking on. And he, you know, because he wanted his friends to think he was cool. He was this big cool guy who made these pranks on people and he could get away with it and sort of be this like you know, this untouchable guy, sort of like a bully. So I think the interesting thing is that we don't often hear stories from the bully's perspective, right? We usually hear and learn about what it's like to be bullied, you know, and how it feels. But we never really hear about the other side, you know, and, you know, why people are sometimes mean. And I think for Shaq, not that it was okay that he was mean, but he was saying, you know, there was these sort of expectations because I'm a big guy. So people expect me to either be tough or, you know, they look up to me physically, like they literally have to look up to me. So I want to make them, when they look up, I want them to see something worth remembering, right? He cared about what, what his friends thought or what he, you know, his friends. But the thought is like, hmm, if they were really your friends, they would like you no matter what, you know, no matter who you were, you know? And so I think it's interesting to think about that um, perspective and sort of take that away from, from the story is that we are seeing sort of a a bad guy turn good and we're sort of seeing a bad guy tell us why he was a bad guy. And it's something you guys can relate to because you're in school and sometimes you guys might feel the pressure to be a certain way, right? Because that's what's cool right now. Or, you know, there's one person in school who has this really dominant personality and they're they're, they're that person who sort of calls the shots in your class, right? And if that person says orange is ugly, anybody who likes orange, you know, everybody else might, you know, feel this pressure to not like orange. You know, that's just a silly example. But you get what I'm saying. Um, pressures and expectations, it's very common to fall into, um, to come on to you when you're young. And even as an adult, I have pressures myself, you know, to be a certain way because I'm an adult. So um, it's a really interesting tor- story to think about. So um, since our dic- discussion was so, anybody else have anything they want to say based off of that? Based off of maybe some deeper thoughts, getting really into the story. No? (laughs) Okay, you guys are really quiet today. Um, So what we're gonna do, oh, oh, Julian, go ahead, Julian. How tall did Shaq um, um, be? How tall did he get to be? Yeah, so now, right now, according to you know, whatever source it is. He is seven foot tall. Seven foot and one inches. That's tall. Like, that's extremely tall. It's extreme. Six four is tall. You know, when he was six four at ten, that's super tall. That's what like not even not even grown men, probably not even our fathers or grandfathers grow to be that tall. And he was that tall when he was only ten years old. Like that's a huge, you know, that's crazy to think about. Um Gianni and then Viviana. Oh, he was when he was five. But he had to be tall if he couldn't ride the bus. Right, yeah. Um, I'm not quite sure. I can look it up and maybe I can put it in our post. But um, I'm not quite sure how, how tall he was when he was five. But I'm assuming he was a big kid. Um, I have a cousin. And when he was maybe four years old, he was always a bigger kid. Like right now, I think he's like six four now. And I think that's probably as tall as he'll be. But as a kid, he was about four years old. And... He was pretty tall, and he was pretty, like, like not not chunky, but he was kind of husky. Like, you know, like, he almost looked like he had little muscles, right? And a lot of people treated him like a big kid. And even when he was about your age, everybody thought he was, like, maybe 13, 14 years old. And they treated him like a big kid. 
And, you know, it's, it's hard to be treated like you're older when you're young because you don't understand, you know, and there was this sort of expectation because physically he looked a certain way, so people treated him a certain way, you know? And that's really it's sad that that's the case. That's the world that we live in, but that's, yeah, that's things that happen. So um, Viviana and then Alyssa and then Sophia. So, like, like, so sad is, like, Seven one, like seven one and one inches. Yeah, seven feet tall and one inches. So, yeah. Wow. Very. Scary. Yeah, because my dad, not not my dad, my uncle, he's like very tall and he can go like, like when I went like I had like a basement, he has to crouch down to go down <laughs> in the basement. Yeah. I'm sure Shaq would have to crouch down or maybe get on his knees and crawl. It's crazy to think about. Um, okay, so Alyssa and then Sophia. So Shaq hasn't grown since he was 10? No, when he was 10, he was 6'4". Now that he's an adult, he's 7'1". So he grew. He grew 9 inches after he was 10. And that might not seem like a lot, but that's almost a whole foot that he grew, even after he was 10. So it's pretty, yeah, he grew a lot. Um, Sophia. I just think that kids would treat, uh, like, the bigger kids better because they think that they're, that they might be mean to them. Mm -hmm. or do something to them, but most of the time they're probably like really nice and they don't need everyone just treating them like a goddess. I feel, I, yeah, I think that that is a good way to put it too. I think that people expect the big kids maybe to be, you know, um, I don't know what a good way to put it. I don't know if you understand this, but there's a word called like the alpha dog, which means like the big guy, the big boss. I'm the alpha. I call the shots, you know, like the real big, you know. So, like, if you ever hear about, like, like I don't know if you guys have ever watched Twilight. I know that was big when I was young. But um, <clears throat> there's always an alpha in a wolf pack, right? The alpha means, like, the leader, the big guy. So um, I do think that. I agree. I think that with big kids, they're treated like they need to be the, the shot callers and the alphas. And they need to, you know, be the leader. And what they say needs to go. And I think that's what Shaq was saying. Like, you know, I have all these people looking to me and they, you know, and I want my friends to think I'm cool. And so the cool thing is to be funny. And the way, the only way I know how to be funny is to pull pranks on people. But they ended up not being, you know, harmless pranks on his friends. They ended up being really harmful pranks that I'm sure a lot of kids were upset about. So yeah, that is a good way to put it. I think if you just treat people based on who they are as a person, not what they look like, then the world would definitely be a better place. Definitely. I'm sorry to interrupt. You're fine. Didn't he actually do a commercial on Icy Hot? He probably did. Um, I could Google that right now if anybody else has something to say. Let me see. Um, let's see. He did do a Icy Hot commercial. Recapping the game so far. Um, here, let me see if I can screen share it. I don't know if it's going to share my audio, though. Um, it's so really pixely for some reason. Well, it's pixely because this is old. This is from, like, the 80s, I think. Can you guys hear it or no? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Mac, we'll have to see how he's going to play. I just can't see it. The strength of the new Icy Hot oh, okay. Back Patch. <laughs> strong enough for me. Introducing the new Icy Hot Back Patch. Big enough for back pain, strong enough for shack pain. Easy to use, concentrated pain relief that goes on icy to dull the pain, then gets hot to relax it away. It's time to pound back. The new Icy Hot Back Patch. For hours ah, that's so loud. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I keep my I put my volume on really loud. I want to make sure you guys could hear it, so I was like, let me put it really loud. Sorry, uh, Gianni, and then we'll get to the to the homework assignment. What? I know homework. What? What did you say? I searched up um 
Um, hold on, Gianni. Abril, if or whoever it is that's talking, if you can mute your mic while Gianni asks his question, and then we can talk about how much we hate homework together. I understand. Go ahead, Gianni. I have to get like really close to my speakers to hear you. So I looked at some of um, his homework and it and it said that he did um one in two thousand and four. Uh, oh. Wouldn't that one be better to watch? Um, yeah, I mean, it's not, we're, we're probably not going to watch it. We, I didn't watch an Icy Hot commercial with my 5B class. I just put it on because Sophia mentioned it. So I was like, oh, let's quickly look at it. But we do have to get the lesson. I don't want to get too off track. But you get, the, you get the idea. It was just, it was ironic. It was funny that, ironic means, like, it's funny that he bullied a kid with Icy Hot and then went on later in life to make a commercial for Icy Hot. But he did apologize to the kid in his story. Um, if you want to watch the Icy Hot commercial, you can, but it, it's not going to, I don't think it'll help you, but um, it'll be, maybe it'll be funny. Um, okay, so yes, I know, homework is terrible, nobody wants to do it, oh my gosh, but we, I have to, I, I, I have a big boss, so you guys have me, right? It's, there's me, who's giving it to you, Okay. And then who's giving it to me? If you think that I just make this up because I want you guys to be doing your homework all day, then trust me, you're wrong. I was a student What's once. What's the homework? I'm gonna get to that. Um, okay. Uh, I, yeah, I don't like homework either because guess what? I still have homework too. Every time I give you homework, I have to grade homework. So I don't really like it either. Um, but we have some. Our social studies assignment is easy. Let's not sit here and, and pretend like it's going to be a really hard assignment. You're, walk, you're only writing five sentences, one paragraph, on a slide that you are interested in or not interested in. That's not a difficult assignment. It should take you no more than 30 minutes. If it takes you longer than that, it should probably even take less than 30. But if it takes you longer than 30, then you need to have a talk with me because it shouldn't be that hard, okay? Our next assignment is, it's going to actually be kind of fun. You can use your imagination. Since we talked about Harriet Tubman in the beginning of the lesson, right? Uh, she was a hero to a lot of people, to a lot of uh, women, a lot of men, a lot of children. Um, she was a hero to black people. She's a hero to non-black people, to people who believe that freedom and equality is a basic human right. She's a hero to a lot of people. She's a hero from the past. A hero from the present might be Shaq. A lot of people might look up to him. A lot of people might look up to him because his, of his story. We didn't really get too much into his story, but he came from a really poor family. He basically came from nothing, and he ended up becoming one of the highest paid uh, professional basketball players of all time. I mean, we're talking about this man makes millions and millions of dollars a year. Um, so, and he's also, I mean, he's a good person. He turned his life around. He, uh, he writes a lot of mo motivational pieces, kind of like the short story we wrote, we read today, and it's all, based on facts it's based on his life he's being very honest about who he is and where he came from so he could be a hero to some um so today for our english assignment we are in this for the rest of the week we are going to focus on the theme of heroes i want you guys tonight i'm going to share my screen oh i am sharing my screen i want you guys tonight to talk about your hero now this might seem like a really like little kid assignment and maybe you did something when you were younger but I'm expecting you guys to really think about this. I want you to really think about who you are as a person and maybe who you would like to be. And maybe when you're doing that, you can think of somebody who you might want to be like or someone who inspires you to be a better person or maybe someone who you want to be like when you grow up, you know, if, if it's a certain lawyer. Like, um, let's say somebody grows up and wants to be like Barack Obama. They want to be the president of the United States. They want to inspire change. They want to be the first, you know, he was the first black man president. Maybe you want to be the first woman president. Maybe you want to be the first person, the first Latino as president, right? Uh, Latina, Latino, uh, boy or girl. Maybe you want to do something like that, okay? So I want you to pick a hero. Let's open our prompt and then we can ask questions after. So for today's assignment, I would like for you to tell me about your hero. It could be someone you know, your mom, dad, family, friend, whatever. Somebody you don't know, someone like, let's say Shaq. 
someone from the past, like Harriet Tubman, or someone from the present. So once again, this is just sort of repeating. It could be someone you know, someone you don't know, or you know, someone from the present or the past. I would like for you to describe this person and tell me why they are your hero. Your assignment should be one paragraph, so at least five sentences, okay? And if you want, you can provide a picture. You don't have to provide a picture, but that's only if you want to. So I wrote one as an example. This is how I want you guys to just do all of your assignments, your header, your name. So are you only sending us one assignment or is there more than one? You have one for social studies one. and one for English. They're two different okay. subjects. What, what's the social studies one again? I just uh, want to mark it down. Social studies is, let me open it so I can screen share. I'm going to post them. I think the social one, I social studies one I posted during our break, but so social studies, it says that we've discussed these six images right in class. We went over the slides. Um, they they yeah. are each their own chapter that we're going to talk about. You guys just a little bit of information about each. And I want you guys to write one paragraph, five sentences about one of them. I want you to pick one. OK, I want you to tell me about it. I want you to tell like you don't have to give me facts, but I want you to say, you know, Miss Gomez, I'm really looking forward to the lesson about Marco Polo. He seems like a really cool guy. I would love to know about how maps were created. I would love to know what it was like to not know about all the other land, whatever you want to say. Or you can say Miss Gomez number chapter three, life in the English colonies. You can tell me that you think it's going to be boring. I don't care what you talk about. I just want you to tell me, give me some feedback. Give me some of your ideas, some of your thoughts about what we've talked about so far, okay? So you're going to pick one and tell me if you're excited, which one you may maybe don't understand, which one might inspire a lot of questions, which one you can relate to today. I don't care what you say. I just want you guys to get in easy points. If you don't, if you haven't realized this yet, like I've said, if you have easy homework and you do easy homework, you will finish the year with an A in my class. I'm going to try my best to not give too many tests, too many quizzes. I have to because I want to make sure you guys know what we're talking about. But if you do your homework, let's say you do your homework every time and you get and you always get 100 because you're doing it because I'm not that hard of a grader. If you do your homework, then when we take our test and you don't do so great on it or you do whatever, your grade will not fall to a C or a D. OK? So think of the homework as a good opportunity for you guys to keep your grades up, OK? So that's our social studies assignment. We'll do questions right after. And then our English one is our hero. So same thing, five sentences. And I want you to talk about your hero. Um, so I did an example. I put my name, what, what class I'm in, the date, and what the title of my assignment is. So this is what I wrote. My hero is Harriet Tubman. I chose Harriet. Tubman as my hero because she is the type of person that I wish I could be. I think that she was very brave and strong. Her journeys must have been very hard, but she never gave up. She was a true hero to everyone that she saved and to the other people she inspired to escape or other people she inspired to help others escape. She always knew what the right thing was. She always knew what the right thing to do was and she never gave up hope. She is a true hero to all women, men and children. And you know, I decided I wanted to put a picture. You do not have to put a picture, okay? That's optional. If you know how to and you feel like it and you want to show me, you know, you're talking about somebody that maybe I don't know, feel free to show me. Now, it's important, guys. It's extremely, extremely important that you do this assignment tonight because on Thursday and on Friday, we're going to do a project about your homework assignment tonight about everybody's hero. We're all going to do our own project about our heroes, okay? So it's important that you do the assignment, that you think about it, okay? You really think about it and you try, okay? You can't just do like, oh, whatever. I'm gonna pick Iron Man because I think he's cool. Iron Man's cool because he wears red. You know, if you do that, you're, you're only gonna har you know, harm yourself and you're gonna make your project harder for yourself, okay? So really think about why these people are your heroes. And like I said, it could be Iron Man. It could be an anime character. It could be um, a cartoon character. I don't care. If, if it's if it's an anime character, uh, I know you might think it's silly because it's not a real person, but let's say you watch anime every day and you're like, I really love Naruto, right? Naruto grew up from a rough family, you know, and he, he always stayed strong and he always fought for the right thing and he always remained true to himself. And that's what I want to be like. I want to be strong. I want to be brave. 
And if I don't have support, I still want to be able to accomplish all of my dreams, whatever it is. OK, you can say that it doesn't have. But as long as it's not silly, you know, I don't want you to say, oh, I picked this Fortnite character because I think he's cool and his dances are funny. Then if you do something like that, like I said, you're going to make your project a lot harder for you. So really think of why these people are your heroes. OK. Does that make sense? Um, your assignment hasn't been uploaded to assignments yet. I'm going to upload it after our class today, so we'll take questions. First, we have Sophia, Angela, Eric, and then Gianni. So go ahead, Sophia. I mean, the thing is that if we want to be like a president or something, we have to pray that 2020 doesn't burn. If, if you want to be, if you want to be a what? If we want to do something in the future, we have to hope the world doesn't end sooner because 2020 is already burning. <laughs> yes, that's true. 2020 has been a rough year, but we do have to remain hopeful. So, yes, you still have to do the hero project. <laughs> it is, that's funny, though. I agree. 2020 is not it's not been great. Not been great at all. I don't like it either. Um, Angela, Gianni and then Eric. Um. You know those papers that you attach with the assignment? I never get them. It's just all white. Okay, Angela, that's fine. Um, what device are you using? I'm using a computer. Okay, so when you get the chance, if you can download Google Chrome. Okay, so watch. So if, look at my screen, and I'll show you. Okay. OK. 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 So let's say you don't have Google Chrome and you use Internet Explorer. So let's pretend this is Internet Explorer. I have Safari, but we'll just pretend. What you're going to do is you're going to go to Google Chrome download. You're gonna search it. And this is what's going to pop up. Get Google Chrome download now. It's not going to give you a virus. It's not bad for your computer. It's going to help you with Teams, OK? You're going to click Download Now, and you're going to click the Download Chrome, and then it's going to start a download wherever, however your computer looks. Okay? I'm on um, Google Chrome right now. It is okay. going to work. Do you have Google Chrome? Yeah. OK. Um, so if this keeps happening, I can just always send you the homework. Um, you just gotta let me know, like, hey, Miss Miss Gomez, it didn't, it didn't, uh, it's not working for me, and I'll just send it to you because I, I think I had like two other students that had the same problem. Okay. I don't know why, but that's fine. It's not your fault. Okay. 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 Um, so Eric and then Gianni and Sophia, you still have your hand up. So if you have another question, you can keep it up. If not, just lower it. Um, so Eric and then Gianni. What did you say? So once again, um, we have social studies homework and English homework. So social studies, we have to write a paragraph about which of the slides we are either most interested about, we have questions about, which one we might think will be the most boring, whatever, we, we, whatever you want. You have to pick one of the chapters, one of the six, and talk about it. You don't have to put the image. You don't have to put the pictures in your in your homework assignment. You could just say chapter one, you know, first Americans. I think this chapter blah, blah, blah or whatever. You don't have to put the pictures. OK, that's for social studies for English. You are going to write a paragraph about who your hero is and why they are your hero. So paragraph once again, five sentences. OK, so don't put them all in the same document. I want two different uploads because they're going to be two different assignments. OK. So I want two different Word documents for each. So you'll do your, so you'll open Office, and you'll do your English one. My hero, or you know, my hero, blah 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 blah. You'll finish it. Um, are we? Is this only just questions, or uh, or is class over? Um, this uh, class is over, I guess, if you if you want to go as long as you have no more questions. But if you if you feel confident, but um, yeah, so if you guys are done, you can go ahead and leave. Um, don't forget to uh, reread that story if you need any more help. OK, OK, 
Uh, see you tomorrow. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, Eric, and then or whoever was asking a question, who was asking about homework? Eric. Okay. I'm sorry, Eric. I cannot hear you. Try again. Okay, so yeah, so you'll do your assignment and then you'll go back to Word and do a new one for social studies. And this one is going to be talking about slides and blah, 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 blah. I like slide number, I like slide, I like the one about Native Americans and you're going to tell me why. And then if it's easy, you'll click right here just to make it easier and you'll put social studies slide homework or whatever will help you remember what it is. And then when you go to upload your homework, you're going to go through Teams. You're going to click your class, 5A, Miss Gomez. And you don't have to worry about any of these buttons. You just have to find assignments right here. And then you'll have um, feedback on slides. That's the one we're talking about. That's social studies. And then uh, when I upload it after class is over, there's going to be the another, another one. It's going to say, who is your hero? Okay. So you'll only upload the one on social studies here. It's going to have a, I'm going to show you what it looks like from a student's point of view. I'm going to go to Ms. Grogan's really quick. Um, it's going to have this button right here, add work, a little paper clip. And that's when you will, you will upload it and you'll click turn in. It won't say turn in late. It'll just say turn in. Okay. Oh, uh, he left. Uh, Gianni and then Viviana. Talk to you if it takes more than 30 minutes. Does that still count if you want to make our assignment extra long? No, that doesn't count. If you want to, if you feel really inspired and you want to write a lot more, I will be glad to read whatever you write. I was just worried that it, it would take longer than 30 minutes for somebody to write five sentences. If it took that long, then maybe um, we would need to work a little extra together. But if you can write more than five sentences in 30 minutes, you're totally fine. Okay, all good? Okay, Viviana. What if um, I wanted to write about um, Harriet Tubman? You can write about Harriet Tubman. Yeah, just because I wrote about her doesn't mean you can't write about her. I was just using her as an example because we just talked about her. Okay? Okay, have a good evening. Let me know if you need help. Bye, guys.